Hello, everyone. I'm Michael Glass from michaelglass.com. And once again, I, I'm very appreciative that you're continuing our video series on how to become a better trader. As always, we'd like to start off with our disclosures. Any symbol that you see today should not be inferred as a trader recommendation. No matter what form of investing you choose, stock, forex, future options, they all have a level of risk associated with them. You can lose money. The symbols that you see today should not be inferred as a trading recommendation. Future results are not uh, guaranteed. It's just for educational purposes. And finally, most importantly, any investment decision you make is still in your own responsibility. Trade at your own risk. As I always said, I want to thank you for participating in our free five-part video trading course. Uh, it's, it's all about making a better trader no matter what uh, vehicle you're choosing, stock, forex, future option. In our first video, we talked about understanding the type of day and the time of day. When is your optimum time to be trading? What are the type of days that you should be trading? In our second video, we talked about technical indicators. Um, and you can see some annotations popping up. If you didn't see those videos, just click on these annotations and they'll take you to those other videos. Go back and come on up. In this video today, we're going to talk about chart patterns and how to use those to become a better trader. Stop in the name of money. This is all about risk management. Uh, again, many people make bad decisions because they're not trading with the right amount of money for the strategy that they're using. And as I always say, the most overlooked aspect of trading is the mental fitness of trading, uh, the psychology of trading. So today we're going to talk about chart patterns um, and how chart patterns can be used to help uh, solidify our edge so that we can become better traders. You know, and one thing to understand about them is that there are different types of candlesticks, different type of charts. When people pull up their charts for uh, evaluating the market, there are different types. Of course, we know about line and bar, but some of the more popular ones right about now, and there are some people who do prefer line charts, so I'm not saying they're not popular. But for me, I've gone back and forth between candlestick charts, range bars is something that's real popular right now, um, hike in a sea. Uh, is something that I use a lot in my futures trading. And of course, market profile um, is another uh, uh, way to evaluate what the market is telling us, what price action is telling us about the underlying investment that we're trading. Um, again, what, you, what you're going to see uh, in terms of uh, most popular is probably going to be our basic candlestick charts. And so our candle is basically we have a body. The body tells us where the market opened and where the market closed. And then we have our wicks, which tell us the high of the day and the low of the day. Basically, it, you're, you're hoping that you're going to get a graphical picture, uh, a visual reference for what the market did. If we see a big candle, we know there was a lot of momentum in the day. We know that there was a lot of uh, initiating, a lot of uh, trending in that day. Whether it's green for up or red for down, big candles tell us that there was a lot of momentum in the market. If we see small candles, that tells us that the market is consolidating. It tells us that there was not a lot of momentum. The, you know, maybe the market is taking a breather for the day. It gives us a visual reference to let us know what the market is doing. Possibly that the trend may be ending if the uh, candles start to get smaller inside of a trend. So, you know, I'm not here to necessarily tell you what are the best patterns. And specifically, what are the best candles? You, there are tons of videos on YouTube. Uh, what I do think is important is for you to develop the ones that you like, and more importantly, be able to recognize them as price action is helping. You should be able to recognize that, oh, a rising three pattern is happening, or a, a, um, you know, a morning cloud, a dark star, star, whatever it may be, double tops uh, for our uh, resistance, um, uh, double bottoms for support, head and shoulders. You need to decide what patterns you believe are have the most percentage. Stephen Bigelow has a book on candlesticks and has all these percentages. I don't like to fall in love with percentages. I love to fall in love with price action. So, um, and also, if you do uh, move on to some of our, our video courses, we do talk more about some specific chart patterns. Um, I could sit here all day and start showing you uh, charts on chart patterns, and we know that in, in, in actuality, if I were to do that, I would go find the ideal setups. And so you can get lost in that, and you can really miss on what's really important. What's important is to not uh, make the mistakes of falling in with chart patterns. Don't trade every double top. Don't trade every fall of three or a rising three, every you know dark cloud and 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 all. You know, you, you use chart patterns 
to give you a reference for what the market is doing. This sounds very repetitive to what we said about technical indicators. Matter of fact, it is repetitive. Don't fall in love with a pattern. Don't forget that even though you see a pattern, news overrides everything. And don't get in and announce a process. What is this? Is this is this a rising three? Um, is this, you know, don't get it so caught up into the, 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 the technical pattern or what it has to look like. Be more concerned with what is this pattern telling me about price action? Is it telling me that we're losing momentum in this trend? Is it telling me that the momentum is gathering? That's what we need to use chart patterns for. That's how we uh, should categorize our chart patterns. So when we're talking about overbought and sold, we're talking about failures. When the market is pushing and then we fail, that's telling us that the buyers have lost momentum and it's time to, to get out. Um, you could combine that overbought and oversold with our support and resistance, which is our double tops and our double bottoms. And finally, what are some what is the sentiment telling us? We can use part patterns to tell us sentiment in the market also. Failures is, you know, again telling us about the, the failing of the trend. The, the sentiment is that the market is going down. And again, these patterns, along with technical indicators, along with price action, helps define your edge. Again, our job is to identify those opportunities, and we can use chart patterns to tell us there's an opportunity here. Uh, there's a double top. There's a rising three. We're going to break out, and, but we have to apply the right strategy after we identify that opportunity. Chart patterns are really good in helping us identify response to trading, double tops, double bottoms, um, helps us find those consolidating responsive trading. And then our rising three, our breakout patterns helps us identify when we should be initiating new trades. Again, it's all about leveling the playing field and making sure we're trading when the odds are in our favor and we're identifying our low and high risk trades. You can see where I'm going a little bit quick on this video because it's very similar to our technical indicators pattern uh, video. So it's really the same thing. But in the end, no matter what your patterns are, if you don't pull the trigger, it doesn't make a difference. We want to make sure you're following us on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. And again, we have these great resources for you. If you want to learn about more specific uh, chart patterns, check out our video series. It's only $50, and there is a bonus where I'll spend a, a half hour with you and go over it with you. Or if you want to dive right in, we have our mentorship program for you too. Again, this video was a little bit shorter because it is very similar to technical indicators. Um, uh, but again, it's not that I'm um, diminishing chart patterns, but it is very similar. And again, if you want to get it more detailed, check out our video series. I'll see you in our next video where we talk about risk management. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you next time.